No, Pain, not you. Why does this keep happening to me? Pain, you gotta help me. There's a freaking bomb in here. If I take the head off, it blows. Bye-bye, Vinny. You're a freaking cop. You gotta help me. How did this happen? The Russian tricked me. Join the club. I can help you get him. I can. I swear, you get me out of this and I can help you get him. You've got yourself a deal. They're coming to kill me! You gotta protect me! We gotta get out of here! Through the backyard! I didn't buy Vinny's promise to help me, but I was willing to do anything to complicate Vlad's plans. Pain! Cover me! Cover me! We gotta get through there! Pain, what are you waiting for? Don't let them get me! Kill them! Kill them! Stop! <laughs> up to my place. We'll get out through there. Let's go, Pain. Get him, Pain. You gotta protect me. We gotta get the elevator. Let's go, Pain. Let's go. Come on. 
come on, come on, come on! I can't wait for your pain! I gotta get out of here! Hurry up, baby! Right. Too late, Payne! I'm going! Use the stairs! Oh, I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack! This stuff is worth, I tell you, fucking much. Nothing nerdy about it. I'm a collector. Hey, lots of tough guys are into this stuff. Frankie was into this stuff. He was a fucking tough guy. Hey, just wait till I sell my collection online. Just you wait. Nerd. Hey, let's see who's the nerd when I'm a millionaire. We gotta get out of here somehow. Gotta figure something out. Think, Vinny. Think. We gotta get out through the balcony somehow. It's the only way, Payne. You gotta go out there and make sure the coast is clear. Oh shit! Oh man, they're coming! They're at the balcony! We were supposed to get out through there! Do something, Payne! Real big one. You tie your lucky contender to one side and a rod with a bullet mounted on its end to the other. You slowly tighten the vise until the bullet pours through skin, guts, and bone. Start with a non lethal spot. Work your way to more vital areas. That's the plan. It's not a scientific simulation on what happens to a human body when it's shot. It's entertaining. Yummy. <laughs> They could flank us. <laughs> we can get out from here. Home free, losers! Brain slam! Go!
them! Freaking more of them! Fun way. Penny needed Mona as much as I did. We'll try to find Mona Sachs. She can disarm the bomb. Are you crazy? She's just as bad as the Russian. She's part of the same fucking crew. You're delusional. I was desperate enough to look for Mona at the funhouse. I got a bad feeling about this. Max, dearest of all my friends, drop your gun or the bomb goes. I had a bomb ticking in my head. No amount of painkillers would disable it. Vlad and his men left after they were done with Vinny and me. I don't know how Mona came to be there. I can only speculate. It's clear that she was after Vlad. gotten there after he had left. Otherwise, he'd have been dead, and she wouldn't have come after me. She came to get me through the fire.
Vlad had terminated Vinny's tragicomic existence with the push of a button. Ouch. Poor guy. Poor bastard. She found me where Vlad had left me, lying in a pool of Max. blood on her floor. Max, come on. Time to wake up. Death is inevitable. Our fear of it makes us play safe, blocks out emotion. It's a losing game. Without passion, you're already dead. It's all a matter of perspective, tied to time and place, love and friendship, life and death. Vlad had led me to Mona's apartment at gunpoint. Just missed you at Vodka and at Vinny's. Third time is the charm. We can't get him up here. The head is too big to fit through the door. Let Vinny stay in the funhouse. That's where he belongs. I'll get to him in a moment. Ironic, isn't it? What is? How you fell for the killer working for the man who got your family killed. Love is blind. Everything is subjective. Choices, answers, good and evil. Woden sent the Project Valhalla file to the DA to put a scare on him. Your family paid the price. Mona is like me, just in the opposite camp. Killing the society members allied with me. How funny is that? I hate to do this, but you know how you are. You would never let it go. Einstein was right. Time is relative to the observer. When you're looking down the barrel of a gun, time slows down. Your whole life flashes by, heartbreak and scars. Stay with it, and you can live a lifetime in that split second. Besides, a gentleman always avenges the insults done to his lady. You did kill Winterson. In the dream, I was an invisible ghost hovering outside my body. Detective Payne. The boss is already here. He's waiting for you inside. Hope you haven't had your lunch yet. This one's bad. A crime of passion. This one's yours, Payne. You're the only one who can solve it. A bullet in the head. The killer's looking for an answer, but he's looking for it in the wrong place. He should be looking for it in his own head. The suspect is ready for a lineup. You should hurry, Payne. Oh, you'll miss him. Oh! His heart broke. Damn it, we're losing him. Give him hope. Six milligrams. Charge. Clear. Clear. Nothing. Go again. 300. 300. Charge. NYPD, drop the gun. Clear. What are you going to do about it, pal? We're all guilty of something if you look hard enough. <laughs> Framed. You made me strong. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. You win. You win. Just let me go. You, you can have it all. The gun trade. Freaking all of it. Just don't kill me. Vincent, dearest of all my friends. Let's play a little game. You're into games, right? The rules are simple. For every answer you get right, I'll remove a good part of the explosives taped to your head. You get them all right, you are free to go. Sounds good? Okay, okay. And given your current attire, all the questions will be about your favorite TV show. All right. Ready? 
The first question. What is the name of the big bird in Captain Baseball Bat Boy? Maxwell Steven! Maxwell Steven! Easy! <laughs> well done, Vincent. And now, as promised. Congratulations! That's half of the bomb gone. One more right answer and you are home free. All right. All right, I can do this. I can do this. What's the question? Who is the original creator of Maxwell's demon? Back to Entropy, of course. Oh, no, 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 wait. What do you mean? For real? The, the show's writer, Sammy Waters. Impressive, Vincent. But, unfortunately, incorrect. Maxwell's demon was created by James Clerk Maxwell, a 19th century British physicist. Jeez. Unfair! Oh, man! You, you gotta give me another chance! Vinny, Vincent, I would love to, but rules are rules. No, 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 please, no, please, don't kill me, don't kill me, no, 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 no please! No hard feelings. It's not too late, my darling. Join me and all's forgiven. We would make a brilliant couple. I am the king, and you could be my queen. In your dreams. <laughs> See? You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Get her! Get the bitch! <laughs> this, you're gonna pay. Help a thing. The bullet in my head brought me to you. Max, come on. Time to wake up. She was beautiful. I hated her for making me feel this way. Now that I was with her, I was reluctant to hear her answers. You okay? Vlad was headed to Woden's Manor. <sighs> Don't be stupid. You're not in shape to go anywhere. You'll die. I don't care. This isn't your fight, Max. You can walk away. I'm asking you. I didn't deserve to walk away. 
There are no happy endings. You're coming with me. It was too late. I couldn't trust her. Not before I had seen this through. Vlad was right. There are no choices. Nothing but a straight line. The illusion comes afterwards. When you ask, why me? And what if? When you look back, see the branches. Like a pruned bonsai tree. Or a forked lightning. If you had done something differently, it wouldn't be you. It would be someone else looking back, asking a different set of questions. Showtime. I'll go down first. Cover me from here. Going in. I'll climb down. No, stay there. I'll take the first floor, you take the second. Okay. I'm not sure I can... Incoming! Valentine taught me who I was. He showed me life, 
the meaning of being a lady took me out to the world waiting beyond the secluded garden of my childhood home. He gave me the seed that grew into my greatest treasure. Mama, Mama! My little Valentine. It happened years ago, but I can still hear the voice of my lord calling out to me, saying, My lady. My lady. Work our way deeper into the building. Look for Woden or Vlad. All right. Stay frosty. of all my friends. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so glad we are together in this. Yes, sir. Woden and the Gold are in the panic room. All we need to do is get in. There is no rush. It's not like they are going anywhere. The explosives are in place, sir. We are going to make a beautiful exit. Woden's bodyguards had betrayed him and joined Vlad. There was still time. They hadn't gotten to him yet. The panic room was at the back of the manor. It's Saxon Payne. They're already inside. They're extremely dangerous. We need to stop them before... Mona was still on the case.
Woden's in his panic room at the back of the manor. It's up ahead, see you there! Dead end. Damn it. Here, let me. This way. Mona knew the manor. She was working for Woden. Glad it told her the truth. Mona, wait. Stop. This is love. When someone drags you from the wreckage when you have given in, ready to just lie there and die. I told you not to come here. It's my job to clear up this mess, and you're a part of it. Throw away your guns. This is love. When someone, no matter what the cost, shows you there is hope, a choice, that you can put down your gun. See? I can't do it. You're a bastard, Max. This is love. Love hurts. I was so looking forward to you two killing each other. Ah, oh, you can't have everything. I had been here before. Ground Zero. You are making me look incompetent by refusing to die. Stop. I am sorry. Enough! A bomb went off in my head. The bullet lodged in my brain moved a fatal, microscopic distance. The killing has gone too far. I have only begun. It's better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. You flatter yourself. Demented fool! I felt the rise of that old familiar feeling. I hated it. I welcomed it. Everything was clear again. No more ambiguities, no more questions. No gun when you need one. <coughs> one last thing left to do. I was compelled to give Vlad his gun back. One bullet at a time. He's behind me! Hold him off! And give me a gun! Ah! We can still kiss and make up Max! It's good that the women are out of the way! They only complicate matters! Take off! To the panic room! They're gonna blow!
Acknowledged. with you, Max? Why don't you just die? You hate life. You're miserable all the time. Afraid to enjoy yourself even a little. Face it, you might as well be dead already. Do yourself a favor. Give up! Hey! twice now. You can be so damn uncompromising, fanatical about these things, Max. One of these days, it's going to get you killed.
worry, Max. I haven't forgotten you. to be a bad boy. Ah! <laughs> Have no fear. The lion is here. That was... <coughs> Max, dearest of all my friends, I was supposed to be the hero. chance is to turn around and face it, but it's like kissing the lips of your dead love, darkness waiting in the hole of your mouth. We are willing to suffer, to die for the things we care about. For love, for the right choices. Because of her, I had solved the case, my case, all of it, who I am. It's gonna be all right. Uh, <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. She was dead. The bullet in her head had come to the end of its slow motion journey. Stay sharp. We're going in. Go, go, go! It is almost morning, waking up from the American dream. Jesus! My God! What the hell went on in here? They are all dead. Now, like all my loves, she is mine forever. She has brought me here to this moment of clarity where time slows down and I choose to look back to see myself. And in that act of seeing, I am reborn. Down here, this way, there! Easy. Oh my God. He's got a live one here! Detective Payne? He's still alive! We need a medic in here, now! He's still alive! I had a dream of my wife. She was dead. But it was all right. Headlights 
staring bleak beer cans deer's eyes on the asphalt underneath our crushed plans and my lies lonely street signs power lines they keep on flashing flashing by flashing. and we keep driving into the night it's a late goodbye such a late goodbye and we keep driving into the night it's a late goodbye Upon my cheek can we cross that line You made me strong when I was feeling we can we cross that one time Scream and stop signs staring wild eyes keep on flashing flashing by Driving into the night It's a late goodbye Such a late goodbye And we keep driving into the night It's a late goodbye Your flame and hair and in the play and hide and seek. I can't breathe easy here. This our trails gone cold behind us. Till in the John mirror you stare at yourself, grown old and weak. We keep driving into the night. It's a late goodbye.